as you said earlier, the, uh, this said note that you sent to Mrs. Marin was then used by other persons. Yes, unfortunately. I, I suppose um, they felt that because it was signed by yourself that it would probably assist them in... You know how that go? Getting what they wanted, Unfortunately. No? Um, but it should never have been, because it was never intended that way. And it was given to Ms. Marin directly in the presence of everybody. Would you agree, Minister, that... that this could be interpreted as maybe you knew who this person was and you were maybe trying to... I don't think it could be interpreted like that at all. Mr. Raja Tain was fine with Belize. I don't think Tain was the problem. I think it's mm -hmm. the people who he brought or who he was going to bring, etc. At the time, I don't think Tain was the problem. It goes back, and I want you to be frank on it, it goes back to the impression that is created that with a minister's letter, things will happen. Because in your meeting, Ms. Marin was there, CEO was there, there would have been no need for you to write and say that this man is going to be applying. So it gives the impression that this letter can be used. And in fact, people improperly used it, do you see the problem with something like this? No, none at all, Senator. It, I don't see how that could be construed. Now, with respect to the Minister of Immigration, myself as yes. Minister of Immigration, I have authority to do that. Yes. No other minister has that. I say to my staff who's there, we are sitting in this meeting, here is this gentleman, he's saying I want to bring some investors. Everybody is there, that's why they're there, to say, well, look, they will be applying, deal with it, and do what has to be done. That is a standard order that would come from any minister to his staff.